Hi, how are you doing today? Nice to meet you. I'm Elo, and I'm going to be taking care of your uh, measurements today. Okay, great. Could you tell me your name, please? Mm hmm. Okay. All right. Well, I'm certainly excited to be uh, doing this with you today. I've never actually um, done the measurements before. I'm usually working on the creative side, um, and these characters that we're casting for are characters that I've created. They asked me to do the measurements as well to sort of ensure that I have every um, bit of information I need about all of the people who we cast um, so that when we go into the creative production and start making all your costumes and things I don't need to call anyone back um, to get new measurements. So, yeah, it's a little different for me, so I'll appreciate um, your patience if you don't mind. This might take a little while, and I do need to be taking a lot of fine measurements um, just because I want to make sure I don't forget anything, and it is my first time, like I said. So, um, does that sound okay with you? Do you have some time? Okay, great. Well, um, Essentially, have you ever been cast in a music video before? Okay. Okay, yeah, so this isn't very much different than what they do for theater. Um, we're going to be taking just a bunch of measurements to make sure that all of the different costumes that we might put you in um, throughout the music video will fit you appropriately and we won't have to make any major alterations on set. It just ends up saving a lot of money in the long run, and since we're already having everything custom made, this is kind of the best way um, to go about that. So it looks like we have you in... three different costumes. Does that sound right? Okay. So... Uh, essentially, what I'm going to do is be starting at your head and taking measurements. I'll take measurements for one costume at a time, unless any of them have some overlapping um, numbers that we can use. So, does that sound okay? Yeah, so I'll start and I'll do your face, arms, waist, anything else we need to get on the rest of the body, and then when we're through with that part, I'll just do it all over again for costume two and then three. Okay? Alright, great. And I'll be intermittently taking some notes um, on the clipboard, so you're welcome to just relax during those periods. Um, you don't have to be, you know, keeping your best posture or anything if I'm just taking notes. Okay? Well, I have tape measuring tools. That I'm going to be working with today and they're both soft um, tape measuring devices so I'm not going to be pressing anything up against your skin that should hurt um, but since some of the measurements that I have to take are through curved surfaces. For example, if we were doing from one earlobe to the other around your face, um, it has to be able to bend and conform to your skin, right? Yeah. So this is one, and I'll be using this one mainly for the longer measurements, like your arms, um, height, legs, distance from the knees to the toes, things like that. Mm -hmm. And then I have this smaller tape measure that I'll use for finer areas such as from one pupil to the other or the length of your nose, something like that. Okay, great. Alright, well we're going to start 
with a couple of um, larger measurements around your head. So I'm going to use the first tape measure. Okay. And I'm just going to do straight across your forehead, okay? Right around your hairline. Here. Does that feel like it's at the base of your chin? Okay. And can you tell me where my nail is? Sort of putting a little bit of pressure into your scalp here near your forehead. Does this feel like it's right at your hairline? down so I don't forget. Okay, so we did forehead. I'm going to uh, measure from right around your hairline coming outward uh, because we do have a pretty large um, headdress sort of attachment that you'll be wearing for this scene. Okay? So I'm just going to place this right Turn this slightly. Okay. Come up from your cheek area. Okay, and then on the other side. I think I want it to be slightly longer on this side. 17 inches this way and we'll just do 12 on this side. Okay. So let's see, that was and for the side. Okay. Good deal. All right. Now, let's see. I'm going to do right along your nose here. Sorry, I'm getting so close. I uh, just want to make sure I measure this right. And if you can just look straight uh, into my eyes as best you can, I'm going to try to measure uh, the distance between your pupils. Mm -hmm. And if it's too hard to try to look into my eyes, like if you feel like you can't keep focus, um, just look straight as best you can, even if you have to look above me or somewhere else. Uh, just like a normal gaze. Yeah. <laughs> I'm probably complicating this. Okay. Let's see. Perfect. Okay. Alright. And I'm just going to do the corners of your mouth too, okay? Mm -hmm. So you can just relax.
and do usually wear um, prescription lenses or contacts or anything, just so I can make a note. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, good to know. And let's see. I'm also going to. There's probably going to need to be um, quite a bit of sort of scaffolding for that headdress. Yeah. So I'm going to measure um, from the where your hairline kind of starts all the way around your skull in a few different directions, okay? Yeah, and I'm going to use the bigger tape measure for this one. All right, ready? So I'm just going to wrap this around. It is nice and symmetrical. I know, how are you going to live without that information, right? Okay. Okay. Mm hmm Now, I've always been um, more on the creative side. Yeah, I did some acting, like, in high school and stuff. But not a whole lot. Can you smile for me? Okay. I think I've always had just such a keen interest for music and music videos. Yeah, yeah. ever since I was a little kid I've always sort of dreamed up music videos in my head and had a lot of visual ideas whenever I listened to music. Mm -hmm. It was sort of a natural fit for me, which is nice, yeah. I know not everyone gets that. <laughs> It's definitely um, like challenged me to do a lot of stuff that I never foresaw as a part of the job, like measuring. <laughs> this is definitely not my strong suit, and I never would have thought that I would have to be um, doing something like this. Right, right. Can you just kind of, you don't have to tilt your chin out too much, but could you just sort of like stand with your neck like long for me like you're you know being held up by a piece of string almost through your spine mm -hmm. just really regal posture for a second <laughs> I'm gonna measure from the base of your ear lobe here down your neck okay 
on the other side. Okay. And then I'm going to measure around your neck. First I'm going to do one sort of up closer to your chin and then I'm going to do one closer to your clavicle. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to uh, choke you or anything, so I'm going to do this lightly. A little bit lower down here. Okay, good. Have you always wanted to act? Mm hmm Oh, cool. No, I haven't heard of that. What is that? Oh, neat. Very cool. I needed that when you were younger. Goddamn. Can you hold your arms up for me? Okay. Just gonna... You can put them down for a second. Just got that certainty. Okay. Alright, and back up. Okay. So where was that? Okay. Mm hmm Cool. Well, that's good. Do you like it here? I understand. Yeah. Well, at least you're doing something that you like now. Yeah? a difference. Mm -hmm. I barely feel the same. Can you hold your arms out for me? Sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just gonna go from your, um, like sort of armpit here up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's really cool. I always uh, admire people who just follow their dreams, and I think it's hard, you know, to... It's one thing to talk about it, but getting, getting it done is a whole other story, and I think more people would succeed if they tried, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Up nice and straight. Twenty nine and from here. Thirty four. Okay. I'm wondering if I'm going to feel differently at the end of this.
project just because I'm like putting labor into the actual um, process of making all of my creations and ideas and I think it's it's a lot different um, I'm just gonna do from your waist down to the floor now okay yeah I think it's just a very different um, story because it's one thing to know I'm just gonna get around your um, thigh here one second Mm -hmm. If you could just widen your stance a bit there. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Good. And your calf. Okay, quick to the other side here. I guess I just think that it can be really rewarding to put in the effort of doing a different part of the job that you work on usually because you don't know what the other people are necessarily going through and like I've learned even like so far in this process I've learned so much about the costume design and all that and just what all goes into like making something like a headdress you know just because I can put it onto paper and make it look cool doesn't mean it's going to be something that's easy to execute and I don't necessarily think about like how heavy or how to make something stand up straight or curl or um, I just draw what I think of and don't consider how hard it might be to like make it a reality so I think it's definitely going to be rewarding to be a part of the process of making it come alive and if nothing else it's going to be humbling because I always consider myself done after I've come up with the idea or the video <laughs> yeah selfish old me all right so we got your left and right thigh okay. Right, and I think I accidentally skipped doing your um, waist here. So if you can just hold your arms up a little bit for me, I'm gonna get your true waist first, which is quite a bit higher than like where we wear our pants. Okay, just put those around you here. across your hips okay yeah and that's more like where we wear our pants right it's not technically the waist but Okay, with this next round, um, I'm actually going to put on some gloves because I'm going to be touching uh, and moving like your nose and eyelids and maybe your lips, um, ear lobes, uh, probably touching your scalp some. So just because I don't, you know, I know that there's a lot of colds going around right now. And I don't want to contaminate anyone or I don't want to make anyone get acne if they have acne prone skin I know that um, just oils from the fingers can really irritate that so it 
order to keep you at your freshest and healthiest. Just going to wear some gloves and use my small tape measure here. And I'm going to make a series of um, measurements on your face, area, head, scalp, neck. Um, and for this, I'm just going to set my phone to record what I'm saying for a second, if you don't mind. Um, I'll turn it off after, but I'm just gonna call out these numbers for myself. Um, and that way I'll know because I'm doing them in order. So I'm just gonna go straight down the list and then later I can just mark them all in. Does that make sense? Okay. Measurement one is a point four. Measurement two is one point one. Measurement three two point three. Measurement four is three even. Measurement five, could you close your eyes for me, please? One point two. Okay, you can blink. All right, measurement six is point one, two, three, four, five, six, point six. Okay. 4.1. Point eight. Point eight. Six point two. One point seven. One point eight. Two, two and a quarter. One. And one point one. Okay, I'm just gonna move up into your forehead now. Three point four. Four point nine. Okay. Five I'm gonna come over to your ear. Two point one. Let's see, point seven. Two point two point seven two point four and two point four nice okay and I'm just gonna get a little bit on the back of your neck, okay? All right, 
see back here. We've got 3.5 and an even 3. Okay, let me think if there's any others that I might want to add to that. Hmm. I'm going to get um, from the corner of your eyebrow to your hairline um, just in case we need to do some sort of application um, on people's face because a lot of these costumes are like really vibrant and they're almost like ribbon and animals and humans and a lot of colors bright yellows and orange um, mixed against like blues and greens and I think that it's gonna be really dreamy and sort of um, I don't know breezy but also I want these characters to be like really powerful and strong so we might be putting some kinds of either tattoos or applications like beaks or extensions to like exaggerate cheekbones or you know something just to make a more severe look because all of the costumage is going to be very um sort of flowy and breezy but i still want it to have a really structured shape and i kind of want the people to be the same way like they're obviously still people um but instead of having so many round edges and smooth curves and softness we're going to create a little bit of harshness and it's not going to be super noticeable because you're pretty much monotone or at least you have kind of one not monotone but m monotonal like a single color um but maybe in different shades so i guess it's not really monotonal but you know within a closed palette right so you're gonna kind of have to look close um to see the the details but i think it'll be worth it yeah okay all right so let me just get that from the corner of your eyebrow here up to your hairline and that is looking like right over 1.1 and on the other side you're an even match so if you get your eyebrows done tell your uh, person they're doing a good job oh yeah <laughs> cool good for you that's awesome okay um so i'm gonna stop this recording okay so um those more fine measurements will work for all of your costumes, but I do need to go back with my larger tape and get a few more measurements for your other two costumes. Okay. Yeah, the last one was a little, um, like I only needed your thighs and calves for the last one, but the next one I need to get, um, like a couple more measurements on the inside and the outside, not just around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just a different, like, pant leg, kind of. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna do costume two. could just hold your arms up for me again. Okay. All right. Can you do me a favor and hold this on the top of your head here for me? Good.
Okay. All right, now I'm just gonna measure across your shoulders. And last time I just stopped at the like sort of front of your body. And this time I'm gonna wrap around to the sides because this costume has a bit of a cuff sleeve. Okay, so this measurement will be a little, <clears throat> little wider than than shoulder width. Okay, good. And I'm gonna go just straight down. Oops. Now I'm gonna go just straight down. Okay. On the top of your shoulder. Okay, and on the other side, you can just let your arm rest. Good. Okay. I'm not actually sure what your color is going to be. Um, you have beautiful skin tone, so I, I, there's a lot that I think would look really, really good on your skin. Yeah. So I have, like, the range of casts is very drastically different in skin tones, and, like, I have some really, really um, darker skin tones that I'm really excited about because I just know that those like yellows and oranges are gonna look amazing and then I have some very very porcelain fair people who I know are gonna look really good in the blues and greens and it's just gonna be like overall I think it's gonna be really catching you know yeah because I'm gonna try to put people in something that flatters their skin tone obviously yeah, it's gonna be really cool. I'm excited. It should be kind of like a like a whimsical reality. It sort of still like mirrors life as we know it, you know. But the colors I think are gonna make a lot of sense with the song, so I'm hoping anyway. Sometimes you don't know if people are gonna like see what you see or if you can even make them. But usually if your idea gets selected, you've at least made it somewhat far, you know, in the process. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna um, nail down again and get your outside of your leg. And I'm gonna go from like your hip down to, your flo down to the floor, uh, like the sole of your foot on both sides and then on the inside I'm gonna do from like your kneecap down. Okay. So Okay. Other side. Good. And I'm gonna do the inside now. Thank you. Okay. And the other side. really good. I'm excited about all the different bodies too. That's one thing, it's like really cool to be doing the measurements because I get to see like all the different ways that the costumes are going to come together on all these different shapes and sizes and that gets me most excited of just like being able to really visualize what each of the characters are going to look like. Um, yeah, should be really cool. It's kind of like reading a book and then seeing the movie. It's like I have the idea in my head, I've created something, but it never exactly comes out the same. But you know, 
sometimes it's better. Sometimes I would change certain things, you know, not that it's bad, but um, it's not always easy to get what you're thinking, like, out there and created. And like I said, there can be issues with, like, me creating something that's not physically, scientifically possible. <laughs> um, but this one should be fine. All right. Well, um, let me think if there's anything else for this costume that I would need. I don't think so, um, but on your next one here, let me see. On your next one here, it looks like we have a lot of hand and foot um, costume extras. So we're going to be having some kinds of like jewelry, body jewelry essentially. So I'm going to need to measure. If you can just give me your hand real quick, either one. Thank you. I'm just going to measure from your middle finger tip point to your wrist. Good. Okay, and on the other side. Good. Okay. Those are even, go figure. And then if you can just flip your hands over, kind of measure across the back of your palm. Good. And on the other side. Also even, perfect. Okay, so. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my smaller measuring tape and <clears throat> get a measure between the little joints on your fingers because these are going to sort of web up your hand, okay? So you have 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 1, okay. Seven point eight one. Okay. Okay. Just gonna do your finger length now. I just have to do your feet, okay. So I'm gonna do the tape measure um, to get the whole length of your foot. And then I'm gonna do some finer points with the smaller tape measure too, okay. Mm -hmm. Just like we did on your hands. Are you ticklish? Okay. All right, well, I will be fast. And I'll try not to bother your feet. I know a lot of people don't like their feet to be touched. 
All right, ready? Okay, you can just stand up straight for me and kind of try to point your feet, toes forward. Mm -hmm. Just get a nice aligned posture there. Good, okay. Let's do your right foot. And your left. All right. And I'm gonna just measure some of your toe area, little toe joints. <laughs> This is a little weird, but luckily you kind of know the drill. Okay. I don't normally inspect people's feet and toe joints when I meet them. <laughs> Although I'm sure that would make me uh, quite a character. I would not forget. I just had a few more questions for you um, before we wrap things up because I think I've gotten pretty much all of the measurements that I need at this point. It wasn't too bad, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, I've just um, got a couple questions that we're, we'll deal with, um, like allergies or any other issues that we might need to know about so that we don't harm you. Okay. So, do you have any allergies that you know of? Okay. Have you ever had any um, like rashes or irritation when putting on any sort of makeup, face paint, hairspray, using certain um, shampoos, conditioners, body soaps, deodorants? Okay. Have you ever used gel in your hair? Yeah, not a mousse, but like a gel gel. Have you dyed your hair? Are you allergic or sensitive to any foods? Anything with food coloring? Have you traveled out of the country recently? Okay. Have you ever had um, head lice? Chicken pox? Okay. And are you on any medications that we should know about? Just not even prescriptions, if you don't wanna um, say those, or if you are confident, because um, we cross-check everything, so not trying to get into your business, but even if you take like a vitamin or something like that, we will check to make sure that there are no known reactions with any of the glues, dyes, uh, fabrics, glitters, Mm -hmm. It's completely confidential. We would never give this information. We shred all of this afterward. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. And did you have any other questions about the video, the shoot? Um, anything you think we should know about? That might some way affect what you have to wear or anything like that. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. Just have some smell sensitivity. Okay. So I'll just make a note. No strong perfumes or anything like that. I mean, usually they won't go that far just because, you know, it's it's a music video. But some of the um, products that they do spray can be a little strong and irritating. It might give you a headache or something. So we'll just make sure that we put you in like a really well ventilated well ventilated area, excuse me, um, and make sure that we have some fans if we need them or whatever we need just to, we can do it outside even if the weather conditions are right. That way you won't have to worry about that at all. Yep, yeah. and we always keep plenty of water and we have a walk-in um, cooler because it can get really hot sometimes when you're doing like costume fittings and applications. So we can, you know, if you're feeling a little warm, we can have you go in there. Okay. All right, great. Okay. Well, if there's nothing else, it was a real pleasure meeting you and I enjoyed uh, chatting with you and thank you for being patient with me. Um, I know that that was a lot of measurements and I'm not the quickest in the world, so this was a longer fitting, but um, I think I've got everything that I need and I think that you're going to look fantastic in all of your costumes. I can already picture it and I'm just really, really glad that we found you to cast. So um, I think you have exactly the look that I was hoping for and I'm excited. Okay. Do you have any other questions? All right. Well, it was a pleasure meeting you. Mm -hmm. And I will see you um, at our first fitting. Okay. All right.